Hi, this is Greg from Rio Grande. Today I'm really excited to be talking to you about B9's Fast Wax. I've done a lot of 3D printing over the last 10 years and casting for 40. And the biggest challenge industry-wide has been casting, no doubt about it. And this is what Fast Wax was engineered for. Take a look at these micro prongs, the mill grain here on the edge, sharp, crisp letters, corners. These prints have extremely high resolution that we've come to expect in all B9 prints. Nice, deep, crisp, even the since 1944 came out perfectly. And same thing in this smaller version. I can read that perfect. These are really nice prints. My background, I've been working in model making, mold making, design, product development for more than 30 years. And whenever you want to do this type of thing where you have narrow but deep letters, crisp detail like this, and you want to try to mold that to make copies of it for mass production, or let's say you, you're an aspiring studio that wants to get into doing this sort of thing. If you made a mold of this, it would be really, really difficult to shoot copies from a rubber mold that were this sharp and this crisp. Um, you would have to powder the mold and use vacuum and try to vent and stuff. And even then, you would lose a lot of copies. Your, your success rate would be very, very low. So you would be better off to um, 3D print anything like this, anything with sharp, crisp letters. It's going to come out better you're gonna waste less time. Like on this particular little strip down here, this is so thin, that little bar that runs under the R. I mean, I thought it would break off just from printing, but it didn't. It's all, it's all there, um, it's perfect. That is, that's less than half a millimeter thick, but yet it's still cast, it's still there, it's all there. So anything where you've got fine detail and lettering like this, I think, I think a, good, a good way to move forward on that is just to 3D print them. Here's a tree that I cast a few days ago. Here's that, that ring with the nice mill grain edge. Look how nice that came out. Same thing inside here look, with this lettering. Everything is perfect. My process was very straightforward. I used r and plastic cast at 38 to 100, powder to water ratio, I did take it up a little bit higher to 1400 instead of the usual 1350, but I'll attach my burnout so that you can be able to duplicate my results. There are a couple little differences to take into consideration when using the fast wax. Since it has so much wax in it, it's a softer material and you'll need a denser support structure like this. As compared to standard castable emerald resin, you can get away with fewer supports like this. Number two, it is not recommended to reuse fast wax in the vat. So you should only use the amount of resin for the volume of each model, which you can find right here. Then you will add that to 10 milliliters for each grow. The instructions from B9 talk about this quite a bit and I will attach them as well. I am very excited about the results I've gotten, and I think you will be too. If you have any questions, contact us.